So, Daniel Bryan cashed in his money in the bank of briefcase last night on Smackdown on an unconscious Mark Henry. He's World Heavyweight Champion, right? Wrong. I can't believe what happened last night. Daniel Bryan gets the fa and the fans get screwed over once again. You see, last night on Smackdown, the Big Show and Mark Henry were in the ring and talking about their title World Heavyweight Championship match. And you see, the Big Show ended up knocking out Mark Henry with the WMD, his weapons of mass destruction, the punch. And you see, at that point, Mark Henry face down, lying on the mat, on the campus, right in the middle of the WWE ring on SmackDown. You see, that is a great opportunity. See, the Big Show's music was playing as he was walking back up the ramp. Then suddenly, you heard Ride of the Valkyries, Rock Edition, or whatever it's rem WWE's remix is called, because they don't own that tune, by the way. Out comes Daniel Bryan with the referee, brilliant! I was thinking, this, I was just really up on my feet at this point. I was thinking, yes, he's cashing the money in the bank. Brilliant, he's cashing it, come on! You know, I've just watched the, all, a couple of videos again on WWE.com. He comes down, you know, he comes down with the referee, and I'm thinking, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Come on, Daniel Bryan. This is it, finally, World Heavyweight Champion. No, because he does cash in the money in the bank briefcase. He does pin Mark Henry for the one, for the two, for the three. But, and, he's also awarded the World Heavyweight Championship. But this is, this is the great part. He gets handed the World Championship. He gets announced as World Heavyweight Champion. He celebrates, so like, rightly so. He's worked his rear end off internationally all over the world for the last t over 10 years now he has worked his rear end off put in some amazing effort amazing dedication to become where he is but suddenly we get the typical screw job that WWE always does forget the Manhattan screw job US title match to be honest, does not compare to get screwed out of the World Heavyweight Championship so I was that greater but it's true because guess who comes out Theodore R. Long proudly presents, yes, the old WCW referee manager. My, I know Theodore R. Long uh, has been around for years, I've watched him for years. To be honest, I hate it when he does things like this, because he came out. And because Mark Henry's uncle is in as one of those support plaster things, he says that Mark Henry is not medically cleared to wrestle. So, the match is not official. So therefore, he is not World Heavyweight Champion. Theodore Arlong gets hands the belt back to Mark Henry. By this time he was up and about and hobbling on his crutch and his, one of his soft support boots. And he hobbles to the back. And we get screwed that Daniel Bryan is not get, not the World Heavyweight Champion. Luckily, the only salvation in this story is the fact that Daniel Bryan gets given back the money in the bank briefcase, because technically he has not cashed it in. And not only that, the good the, the only good part about that, because I hated to see that, to be honest, that happened with another wrestler years ago, and I like when he went from WCW to WWE, Chris Benoit, it helped, it happened with him, and I was supporting him, and I thought, great, he's world champion, but then the Mick Foley came, oh, I didn't see this qualification, you know what, this is annoying, because, you know, Daniel Bryan, you know, was made the number one contender, but that is still to come, because he was not made the number one contender immediately, no, 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 he had their defeat, Randy Orton, Wade Barrett and Intercontinental Champion Cody Rhodes in a fatal four-way match later on in SmackDown <coughs> become number one contender. Now thankfully he managed to beat them of course and I hope that this week, at this next Tuesday on a live edition of SmackDown, obviously it will be live in America, um, results will be certainly known in the UK before <coughs> Friday, I'm sure it won't probably be shown until Friday, I don't know. Sometimes these live smackdowns we get them actually as live as well. Uh, so hopefully on Tuesday it will be live on Sky Sports as well. And um, certainly as soon as I come in on Wednesday, we'll be looking at the results. Because this coming Tuesday on live, 
a special holiday because it's Thanksgiving in America. Special live holiday edition of SmackDown. There will be a steel cage match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Mark Henry versus Daniel Bryan. And I'm sure that hopefully that Daniel Bryan can become champion. Or if he can't defeat Mark Henry, do enough damage to him to cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase again immediately. I believe this may be the first time that somebody's going to be cashing in twice because I'm sure he'll cash it in soon. He's supposed to be, he said all along he was going to cash it in at Wrestlemania. He said all along it'll be Wrestlemania, Wrestlemania, my moment at Wrestlemania. And to be honest, even though Michael Cole called him a hypocrite, if you see on WWE.com, Daniel Bryan actually reacts to that. And he says in the back of WWE.com social video, he says, yeah, but sometimes you have to take the opportunity, and I completely agree with him. You have, sometimes you cannot live by the moral code that you always go by. You have to, especially in professional wrestling, when you get a chance like that to take the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, I have to say, I know it's been the time, I know this all has been made up by the book, because you know what? I have to say, I, I know that Daniel Bryan, right now, will be thoroughly, re really annoyed, peed off, that he has not been able to claim the World Heavyweight Championship and I got taken from him. I guarantee, I know he knew that what was happening. I guarantee he's really annoyed at this. And I'm really annoyed at this. It's another screw job for the fans. And I hope he does beat Mark Henry this, this Tuesday on the live edition of SmackDown. I'm going to check Sky Sports, I'm going to check the schedules and I'm going to see whether it's live as well on UK TV. Because a lot of times, sometimes Sometimes actually the last, uh, last couple of times it has been live on Sky Sports late at night, but the one previous to that, it was not. We had to wait till Friday to see it. But you know what? I am just certainly going to watch SmackDown one Wednesday when I come back, because I'm working from early till late next week. But I'm going to come down and we'll watch SmackDown. And I hope Daniel Bryan takes that World Heavyweight Championship from Mark Henry. He deserves it. Because this weekend, so this next week, could be a very big week for professional wrestling. Two of the best athletes in the world could claim their first World Heavyweight Championship, like a preview to Grand Voyage for Pro Wrestling Noah. Kenta is going for the World Heavyweight Championship tomorrow, and hopefully on Tuesday, Daniel Bryan will be World Heavyweight Champion. Because Daniel Bryan cashed it in and got screwed by WWE. I hope that he takes that World Heavyweight Championship and puts his boots where the sun don't shine for Mark Henry. I really do. Uh, very quickly, before I end, what are the results from SmackDown? Hunico defeated Justin Gabriel. Beth Phoenix and Natalya defeated DJ and Caitlin. Sheamus and Zack Ryder defeated the United States Champion Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger. Obviously, Mickey, Mickey Guerrero's guys. Ted DiBiase defeated Heath Slater, and of course Daniel Bryan won the num four, Fatal 4 way number one contenders match, defeating Randy Orton, Wade Barrett, and Cody Rhodes. So, you know what? I really hope that Daniel Bryan cashes in on Tuesday or at least beats Mark Henry in whatever way he. Was. He said on the WWE.com exclusive video that about uh, being called a hypocrite that he knows at least 17 moves, he knows far more than that. So Mark Henry, watch out. I really genuinely hope that Mark Henry loses his world title this coming Tuesday on live edition of SmackDown to Daniel Bryan. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a steel cage match and I really hope that we see Daniel Bryan win the World Heavyweight Championship. There's nothing that I want more than to see Daniel Bryan win that World Heavyweight Championship because he is the guy that deserves it. I know a lot of indie guys are coming through the ranks nowadays. We've got Austin Aries in TNA again. Daniel Bryan. We've got a few indie guys now signed to FCW. I'm really looking forward to seeing this new generation of indie guys getting their chance. And I can't wait. One thing I'm going to see on Tuesday, I hope, is Daniel Bryan. Bryan Danielson win the World Heavyweight Championship of an uh, still injured Mark and I cannot wait.